Hello again to the series, the series of um, data structures in OCaml. In this video and the coming few videos, we're, we're going to learn OCaml lists. Now, I am sure you're familiar with what linked lists are and what lists are in general. Well, defining a list in OCaml is very, very simple. All you need to do is use these square brackets, as you can see here and then you can see the elements inside them. Now this is a list of integers of 1, 2, 3, 4 all the way up till 9 and you can notice that the elements are separated by semicolons. So to declare a list in OCaml you just need to use the square brackets and then all the elements are separated by semicolons as you can see. Now OCaml will automatically allocate space for the list and it will put it, it will put the elements in there. Now OCaml has garbage collection just like Java so there's no need for us to do something like uh, we do it like in C for example when we program in C we don't have to deallocate memory and free that memory OCaml does that automatically via its garbage collector. Uh, one more thing here is that OCaml will automatically infer the type of the list and it will know automatically that this is a list of integers. Now, lists must, be, must all uh, be uniform, i.e. they must be homogeneous. What that means is all the elements must be of the same type. If you have uh, a list of primitive types, like for example integers, floats, um, uh, strings maybe, or characters, or booleans, then that's fine. If you have a list of uh, um, unions, you can have what we explained unions in the um, OCaml tutorial series. I think it's video number 28 or 29 where I explained uh, records and unions when, when you ha want to have uh, records of data or when you want to have a type of data that can have many sort of subtypes just go back to the videos and you will understand what that means now uh, we have loads and loads of operations that we can do in uh, on lists for example for example to declare a list we we can say for example let x equals this is a, li this is a list of um, of characters let x equals square brackets um, uh, uh, single quote single quote a inside semicolon single quote single quote b inside and then close the square brackets double semicolon that's how we declare a small list of um, of two characters let me go to my top loop and paste that and as you can see here, OCaml automatically knows that this is a list of chars, a list of characters. Now, if we want to add an element to the list, then we use a double colon. Remember this operator? A double colon inserts or adds an element to a list. Now, is this a FIFO or a LIFO list? FIFO stands for first in, first out. LIFO stands for la uh, last in, first out. Let's find out and see where the element gets inserted to the beginning or to the end of the list. By the way, the beginning of the list now is the leftmost element and the last element of the list is the rightmost element. So the A now is the first element, B is uh, the last element, or if we go back to the previous slide, 1 now is the first element and 9 is the last element. Of course, we can um, approach it from, from the back. We can reverse the list as we will see in the coming videos. But now let's just uh, sort of add the element to the list and see where it gets added. By the way, one more thing here is that lists are immutable by default. What that means is we can't change the elements of a list after we declare it. Remember this? Let me add this here. So, lists are immutable i.e. we can't change them. We can't change them. Well, we can't change them, but by default they are mutable, i.e. we don't. We can't do that straightforward. We need to have a way around it. Anyway, let's try to insert an element. So let's copy and paste that and see where the element gets added to the end or to the beginning of the list. Enough talking and you notice now that the element actually gets added to the beginning of the list rather than the end. And we can't say, we can't say let y equals x and then da 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 and then C because um, as you can see uh, it needs to this expression has type char but an expression was expected of type char list of lists so basically 
it's because x is a list now uh, OCaml is telling us that if we want to insert this then you are inserting x as a list into another list of lists sort of uh, but we, uh, what that means is we can't add an element to the end of the list as I said before there's a trick around this maybe we can reverse the list add it and then reverse it again but we'll come to that in upcoming videos notice that y now is a new list as, as I said we can't now modify x so y now is a totally new list enough talking let's have another example we can append lists by using the at sign so if we want to have a third list for example z then we can append x and y and you can see now that x and y have been appended and the result is a char list which is z at the, uh, 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 as you can see again we can append lists using the add sign I can have it the other way around and can say z equals maybe y at x so we can append y to x which is the other way around you can see that y is c a b so it will be c a b a b this is x these are coming from x and this are coming from y and here these are coming from x and these are coming from y what else do we have here yes we have a list module we'll come to that in the OCaml system it has various functions one of them is called hd list.hd stands for the head so what what this function does is it takes a list and returns the very the very first element so let me copy and paste that and say for example list dot head z and z now is c a b a b and this will return c or we can have list dot tail dot t l and this returns a sub list this returns every element of the list list except the first element i'm sorry this return list dot tail list dot TL returns every element every element in the list apart from the first element so head uh, returns the first element as an element now here as a char whereas tail list.tl returns a sublist every other element except the first and notice that they are in the same order tail returns a list um, as I said we will uh, have a look at the list module and we'll try to have some proper functional programming now and do some interesting operation operations in lists having said that there's one more thing that I wanted to tell you here is that if you heavily use data structures in your programs then take my word yes if you heavily use data structures especially lists then take my word OCaml is your friend OCaml is incredibly powerful when it comes to data structures particularly lists it's very powerful as you can see the code is extremely short it's unbelievable that OCA, um, that lists are uh, 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 defined very easily um, uh, handled and processed very easily we can append lists very easily we can I'm sorry append list add elements and retrieve elements from lists quite easily and as you will see in the coming videos they are very powerful and again OCaml is your friend if you use data structures heavily in your programs Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.